Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel that is QPOL. My name is Anjali Mishra. Students, in this video, we are going to talk about things or topics which are there in chapter 3 of class 10 science. And this chapter, students, is going to be all about metals and non-metals. So students, we are going to start off with the very first topic where we are going to cover physical properties of metals as well as non-metals. So students, metals and non-metals ki physical properties cover karne se pehle thoda piche jate hai, atom se start karte hai, and then baat karenge how elements are classified as metals and non-metals and then unki physical properties mein aayenge. So, if we talk about atoms, we can define them by saying that these are uh, building blocks of um, elements or these are building blocks of metal. So, jo bhi element hoga, let it be sodium, potassium, lithium, chlorine, boron, uh, helium, these are made up of atoms. And then, uh, elements kya hota hai? Which elements are there in order to attain stability, electrons for lose. Karte. For example, sodium or potassium or lithium. So, in this case, mein, these are going to be called metals. On the other hand, if we talk about chlorine or oxygen, ye kya karte? these elements, in order to attain stability, they gain electrons. So, jodhi elements will be gaining electrons, they are called as non-metals, while the ones which lose electron in order to attain stability are called as metals. So, let's just start with the physical properties of metals. So, students, metals ki physical properties may we can say, achha, pehle baat kar lete, what are physical properties? And what all things are included in physical properties? So, we will say that physical properties basically means that we uh, can either see or measure. Ya measure kar sakte. Matlab, koi bhi chemical reaction involved in any chemical change. Nahi aana For example, we will check the material ki hardness, uska melting point, boiling point. So, these are the things which are included under physical properties. So let's just start off with the first physical property of metal, which is like uh, these metals are solids. So if you take any metal in your hand, students, you will notice that metals are solid. But there is an exception and that is mercury. So, mercury kahan dekha hoga aap logo ne? Thermometers mein. Thermometers kahan use hota hai? Basically, agar hume amna body temperature measure karna hota hai, to uske liye we use thermometer. So, wahan par ek na liquid hota hai inside those thermometers. So, wo liquid kya hai students? Basically, that liquid is actually mercury. And what is mercury? It's a metal, but again, it's in liquid state at room temperature. But agar hum... Baki sare metals ki baat kare, these are going to be solids at room temperature. Chai aap sodium le lo, lithium le lo, potassium le lo, silver le lo, sare hi metals are going to be in solid state. Next one is metals are hard. Ab obviously, agar metal solid hai, to wo hard bhi hongi. But again, exception to ho nahi hai. So we have exceptions such as lithium, potassium, and sodium. These are those metals which are not hard. Moving on, next property is metals have metallic luster. Yani, jabhi bhi hum koi metal ko dekhenge, you will notice that wo shiny hai. They have lustrous. Like, they are lustrous. They have shine in them. So we can say metals have metallic luster. Next one is we can say metals are malleable. That means metals make special property hoti hai that we unne asani se beat karke, matlab pressure apply karke, unko thin sheets mein cover, convert kar sakte. So that is how we can say that metals are malleable. 
Next property is metals are ductile. That means again by applying pressure or by molding them, we can draw them into wires. So, ya to aap log chaho to separate statements mein, you people can write it as metals are malleable and then metals are ductile. But, aap kya kar sakte ho? Simply, uh, ek saath bhi likh sakte ho by saying it as that metals are malleable and ductile. Malleable means they can be beaten into sheets and ductile means they can be drawn into wires. Moving on to the next property of metals, we can say that metals have high melting point. A question aata hai, what is a melting point, right? Underline kar lete hai isko. So students, melting point basically means or it can be defined by saying that it is the temperature at which a material starts melting. For example, agar hum ice cubes ki baat kare, so its melting point is 0 degree Celsius. So agar hum metals ki baat kare, so these metals are said to have high melting point. Yani metals ko agar melt karna hai, pighlana hai. So you people will need huge amount of energy. But again, as per nature of metals, there are some exceptions so, if we talk gallium and cesium, ki baat kare, they have got a very low melting point. How much is it? If you have a little bit of gallium, if you will take some amount of gallium, it will be big. So, we will say that metals, like mostly metals have high melting point, but some exceptions are gallium and cesium where they have got low melting point. Then, covering the next property, of metals just like how they have got high melting point they have also got high boiling point so high boiling point means again define that their boiling point first so we will define boiling point by saying that the temperature at which a material starts boiling water ka example leto water starts boiling at 100 degree celsius that is the fixed temperature where water will start boiling. So we will say that if metals ki baat ho rahi hai, that they are going to have high melting point. Always remember, metals will have high melting as well as high boiling point. Moving on to the next statement, it's like metals are good conductors of heat. Yani, if we have electricity conduct karani hai ya fir in the form of wire use karna hai kisi bhi material ko so metals are very good option of it why because these metals are very good conductors of heat best examples are copper silver and let's say platinum also but the thing is silver and copper thoda mehenga padega so we prefer cheaper options such as copper and aluminium Yahan par aluminium ka naam mention nahi hai, but you people can note it down that whenever we say that uh, metals are good conductors of heat, uh, examples like the best examples are going to be aluminium as well as copper. Then let's talk about exceptions. Poor conductors like the metals which are poor conductors of heat are lead and then mercury. Moving on to the next physical property of metals, we can say metals are good conductors of electricity as well. Again, examples are silver, copper and aluminium. Lastly, they have said, like it has been explained that metals are sonorous. Now, in the mind, okay, metal sonorous, hai, but sonorous ka matlab kya hota hai? So, sonorous basically means that if you have metal and you have so you'll get a tongue kind of sound. So this sound which is produced is what is called as sonority. So we'll say that metals are sonorous. And with this, we have covered all the physical properties of metals. Agar hum summarize karenge unki physical properties, we can say metals are solid, metals are hard, metals have got this metallic luster. They are malleable and ductile. They have high melting and boiling point. They are good conductors of heat as well as electricity. And lastly, metals are 
sonoras. Moving on to the next slide. We will be covering now about physical properties of non-metals. So obviously, metals and non-metals, if they are different, then their properties will be opposite. होंगी. So, if you remember the properties of the HGS, and then you can mention the exactly opposite of the other one. Just a shorthand way to answer about what could be the physical properties of non-metals. First statement is, non-metals... पहले मेटल्स की बात अगर करें तो ऑल मेटल्स आर सॉलिड्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम फ्यू एक्सेप्शंस बट इफ वी टॉक अबाउट नॉन मेटल्स दे कैन इधर बी सॉलिड और लिक्विड और गैसेस सो सॉलिड्स आ बेसिकली कार्बन सल्फर एंड फास्फोरस लिक्विड्स मींस ब्रोमीन Gases could be oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, etc. So, हमें इस बात से पता चलता है that non-metals are like they can either be a solid or a liquid or gas. Then we can say that these non-metals are soft, except diamond, because we all know that diamond is actually the hardest. Natural substance. Next one is non-metals do not have luster. यानी वो shiny नहीं होते. They've got this dull color. Neither malleable nor ductile. Have low melting and boiling point. Bad conductors of heat as well as electricity. And they are not sonorous. So with this we have covered all the physical properties of non-metals as well. एक शॉर्टकट बताओ तो किसी एक की प्रॉपर्टीज याद कर लो दूसरे की प्रॉपर्टीज अपने आप बन जाएंगी देन मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड वी आर गोइंग टू कवर केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स अभी फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज तो होगी अब बात आती है केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज की अब प्रॉपर्टीज तो पढ़नी है बट देखते हैं कि केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज होती क्या है जो हम पढ़ते हैं इसके अंदर सो केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज बेसिकली मीन्स दैट यहाँ पर हम मेटल को लेंगे और बाकी सारे अलग एलिमेंट से रिएक्ट कराएंगे जस्ट टू सी कि क्या क्या नए नए कंपाउंड्स हमें मिलते हैं एंड दिस इज व्हाट इज कॉल्ड एज केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मेटल्स सो स्टार्टिंग विद द रिएक्शन ऑफ ऑक्सीजन क्या होता है जब भी एनी मेटल विल बी रिएक्टिंग विद मेटल ऑक्साइड एंड सॉरी विल बी रिएक्टिंग विद ऑक्सीजन As per product, we will be getting metal oxides. Best example यहाँ पर दिया हुआ है. Carefully आप लोग देखिए. We have got copper. When copper is heated, heat किया जाएगा तो burning या heating को कौन सी gas promote करती है? Obviously oxygen. So this copper here will combine with oxygen to form a type of metal oxide. Which metal oxide? Obviously copper को use कर रहे हैं. So on the product side, you people will get metal oxide that is copper oxide dusre ki baat kare if we are using aluminium when this aluminium is heated obviously it will combine with oxygen because oxygen promotes burning so aluminium oxide would be formed so aap log one by one ye sare reactions note down karo two atoms of copper combining with oxygen molecule to form copper oxide four aluminium elements combining with three molecules of oxygen to form two compounds of aluminium oxide moving on to the next segment which is about some metal oxides are basic oxides reason behind that is these uh, basic uh, these metal oxides they react with water in order to form base uske examples kya honge स्टूडेंट सारे स्टेटमेंट्स केयरफुली नोट डाउन करिएगा बिकॉज एक भी स्टेटमेंट मिस होने से यंग पीपल माइट वुड लूज मार्क्स तो वो हमें चाहिए नहीं सो यहाँ पर देखिए वी हैव गॉट फोर एलिमेंट्स ऑफ सोडियम एंड ऑक्सीजन सो व्हेन सोडियम विल कंबाइन विद ऑक्सीजन इट फॉर्म्स सोडियम ऑक्साइड देन सोडियम ऑक्साइड वेन कंबाइन विद वॉटर इट फॉर्म्स सोडियम हाइड्रो और हम सबको पता है दिस सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज बेसिकली 
अ बेस दूसरे एग्जाम्पल की बात करें वी हैव गॉट पोटेशियम कंबाइनिंग विथ ऑक्सीजन सो जब दिस पोटेशियम विल कंबाइन विथ ऑक्सीजन विल गेट पोटेशियम ऑक्साइड सो पोटेशियम ऑक्साइड जब वॉटर के साथ रिएक्ट करेगा इट विल फॉर्म पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इन अगेन पोटेशियम हाइड्रोक्साइड इज ऑल्सो बेसिक इन नेचर सो दिस वॉज अबाउट सम मेटल ऑक्साइड्स विच आर बेसिकली बेसिक ऑक्साइड्स बिकॉज वेन नेवर दे रियक्ट ऑफ अ माइंड विथ वॉटर दे फॉर्म बेसिक नेक्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज सम मेटालिक ऑक्साइड्स शो एसिड एंड बेसिक प्रॉपर्टीज एंड दीज आर कॉल्ड एज एम्फोटेरिक ऑक्साइड्स अगेन स्टूडेंट्स एंड एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट दैट सम मेटल ऑक्साइड्स शो एसिड एंड बेसिक प्रॉपर्टीज एंड दे आर कॉल्ड एम्फोटेरिक ऑक्साइड्स एग्जाम्पल इज एल्यूमिनियम ऑक्साइड एंड जिंक ऑक्साइड सो अगर हम एल्यूमिनियम ऑक्साइड को रिएक्ट कराए विथ हाइड्रोक्लोरिक एसिड विच इज सेट टू बी अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग एसिड द प्रोडक्ट वुड बी एल्यूमिनियम ट्राइक्लोराइड एंड वॉटर ऑन द अदर हैंड इफ एल्यूमिनियम ऑक्साइड कंबाइंस विथ सोडियम हाइड्रोक्साइड विच इज बेस इन नेचर और बेसिक इन नेचर the product would be sodium aluminate and water so these are very good examples of amphoteric oxides moving on to the next slide now we are going to cover about the reactivity of different metals with oxygen is different for statement says that metals like potassium and sodium they react vigorously with oxygen and catch fire if they are kept in open hence they are stored in kerosene in order to prevent burning next statement is if magnesium is heated it burns with a bright flame some properties bata rahe hain of different metals if iron is heated it glows brightly if copper is heated it does not burn but forms a black coating of copper oxide silver and gold do not react with oxygen even at high temperature the reason behind that is both copper and sorry silver and gold are least reactive elements aur agar main keh rahi hu these are least reactive element that means that they are not going to react with oxygen even if they will be kept at high temperature last section is some metals like magnesium zinc aluminum and lead they form an oxide layer which prevents further oxidation and these are called as self protecting metals but this thing is not possible with iron which is why the rusting and the corrosion thing happens in case of iron so these were reactivity of different metals with oxygen and we have seen that it's different with different metals next thing is reaction of water again the people have to remember that every element और एवरी मेटल इज डिफरेंट दिस मीन्स दैट उनका रिएक्टिविटी भी डिफरेंट ही होगा सम माइट रियक्ट वाइगरेसली विथ वॉटर सम माइट रियक्ट मॉडरेटली विथ वॉटर एंड सम माइट शो नो रिएक्शन विथ वॉटर सो वी हैव गॉट अ फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट दैट से इज वन सेकेंड मेटल्स रियक्ट विथ वॉटर टू फॉर्म मेटल ऑक्साइड्स on metal hydroxides and hydrogen the best example of this could be sodium reacting with water to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas same goes with all the other metals as well potassium on reacting with water forms potassium hydroxide and hydrogen gas calcium combines with water to form calcium hydroxide and hydrogen gas aluminum combines with water to form aluminum oxide and hydrogen gas iron combines with water to form iron oxide and hydrogen gas so again 
the heading is the reactivity of different metal with water is different so we'll write down here as sodium and potassium just like how they were reacting vigorously in the last section here also like how they were reacting vigorously with oxygen uh, that they can even catch fire if they are kept in open sodium and potassium here react vigorously with cold water in order to form sodium hydroxide and hydrogen and catches fire calcium reacts less violently with water to form calcium hydroxide and water and does not catch fire magnesium reacts only with hot water to form magnesium hydroxide and hydrogen metals like aluminium zinc iron react only with steam to form the metal oxides and hydrogen and metals like lead copper zinc gold do not react with water that means there will be no reaction when these metals come in contact with water so this was about reactivity of different metals with water is obviously different now let's talk about what kind of reaction will be there if these metals combines with acids so it's pretty obvious that when these metals will be reacting with acids the product would be like a type of salt and hydrogen gas just like how we have seen in case of neutralization reaction wahan par bhi when an acid was reacting with a base the product was salt and water here there is a slight difference metal when it is going to combine with an acid the product is going to be a type of salt and hydrogen so magnesium combining with hydrochloric acid to form magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas aluminium when combines with hydrochloric acid forms aluminium chloride i'm sorry aluminium trichloride and hydrogen gas same goes with the zinc and iron as well so on the basis of this thing we'll say that the reactivity varies from metal to metal for the above metals the decreasing order of the reactivity is first magnesium then aluminium zinc and iron and copper silver and low gold do not react with acids hydrogen gas is not evolved when metal reacts with nitric acid because it's a very strong oxidizing agent and it oxidizes hydrogen reduced to water and itself is reduced to oxides of nitrogen so we have seen that copper combining with nitric acid gives copper nitrate nitrogen dioxide and some amount of water as well so students um till here we have talked about what happens when an as uh, an acid reacts with a metal oxygen reacts with a metal and lastly a metal reacts with water in your next video we will be talking about what happens when there will be a reaction of metal with metal salt solution so with this will uh, end this video here i hope this video would have been helpful for you whenever you're seeing this video make sure that you people have to uh, make notes out of what we are covering in the session and also uh, if you people have any doubts mention the same thing in the comment section so okay then bye